and welcome to another Out of Touch Network, Out of Touch News sort of spoilerific review. Yeah. Today we're talking about Spider-Man 2. I mean the Amazing Spider-Man 2. There's too many Spider-Man 2s now. Yeah. And the Amazing Spider-Man 2. So, this movie I would say is good, but I'm gonna say it's not great. But I liked it. It was an enjoyable movie, but there are some things in the movie that kind of irked me and I still will say the original two Spider-Man movies were better movies. Except that third one, but that one doesn't count anymore. So what do you think? Well first of all if it exists it sadly does count. <laughs> Alright fine. <laughs> but um, I really liked it for the most part. It was really cool, really awesome. I mean I mean right from the get-go uh, to uh, Andrew Garfield is just so much better than Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man himself. You can make the argument that Tobey Maguire might be a better Peter Parker. That's more down to the how the character's written. I think they're both good, but with this movie, this Spider-Man, very, very different from the comic Spider-Man. Like, this Spider-Man universe, like, everything is being established, it's not the comics, like, at all. Everything is just so different and I guess my major thing with the movie like the other movie is everything seems to be connected to Oscorp and I don't know why but I just don't like that everything comes down to Richard Parker's spider research and I feel like it just makes things smaller you know I get that but at the same time it doesn't bother me because I don't know they kind of did the same thing in the spectacular spider-man cartoon and that was a really good show they most of the villains were created by, like, Norman Osborn and Tombstone in that show. Yeah, I never watched that show, but I guess we should say the plot of this movie. It's... The plot is basically this. Uh, at the end of Amazing Spider-Man 1, Peter makes a promise. Then he immediately breaks the promise by, sta by still continuing to go out with Gwen Stacy. And, uh... He's haunted even... by the ghost of Captain Den Stacy. <laughs> it's just like, Dennis Leary... Why, why are you in this movie without any dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as the story continues, there's also the story of Jamie Foxx's Max Dillon. Right, that's his name, Max yeah, Dillon, which is... Who becomes Electro after an incident involving electric eels. He was bitten by a radioactive eel. Although, a little more complicated than that. <laughs> Electro works in this movie because I think the best thing with this Electro is they kind of establish right off the bat this guy's kind of like crazy to begin with. Oh, yeah. So, like, when he kind of just goes, like, nuts and starts, like, you know, shooting people, it doesn't come out of nowhere. You're just like, well, this guy was kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs to begin with. Oh, yeah. He was either going to show up with a gun one day, but instead he got lightning powers. Yeah, and they look really cool. Like, I'm glad they went with the ultimate Electro as opposed to the original Electro with his goofy yellow mask and green tights. What? That hat is the bomb, dude. No, it's no, not. No, Shut no, up. <laughs> But also, yeah, Electro, God, like, his opening scene, like, is just awesome with him in Times Square, and, like, no, they play, really like, cool. the dubstep music with him. It's, like, it's, like, the highlight of the movie. His, his second fight with Spider-Man was just awesome. Yeah. Just really freaking awesome. I was just walk, sitting there, just like, this is amazing. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Full circle. Also in the movie, Harry Osborn. Son of Norman Osborn, who, spoiler alert, oh wait, we already said spoiler alert. Yeah, we uh, Norman Osborn dies after one scene. Which is kind of weird, but Very yeah, weird. he Very straight up dies. They have some dead, dead disease dude. that, some, I guess, is genetic. Yeah, that, genetic regenerative disease. He's, just, he's all green and coarse so, green. Yeah, that's <laughs> one thing that kind of irks me. So, does the disease turn him into the Green Goblin? or? No. It was just a disease. I mean, okay. when you get all pale and sickly, you tend to look kind of yellowish and green. Yeah. So, I don't know if there was sort of... Obviously, it was done deliberately. Yeah. To, to an extent. <laughs> he's got, he's but got uh, like Norman nails. dies, and Harry, horrified of having that same fate, as he's already starting to suffer the effects of it, becomes obsessed with getting the blood of Spider-Man, who he knows was bitten by one of Oscorp's spiders, who they all apparently destroyed. Yeah, and, you know, Harry Osborn worked out really good as a character. He was really interesting, him and Peter Parker, when they're palling around, or some pretty good scenes in the movie, but when he becomes the Green Goblin, that's kind of where I was like, 
Oh god. He looks kind of awful in my opinion. He's, I don't think he looks that bad. I think he does. He's got like really like weird ass like skin and like he's got like fangs and I think he this... starts talking like really like weird and cackling and stuff and it's just like Wow! <laughs> it's like, I guess this is supposed to be a serious scene, but like that voice and that cackle when he shows up, like, kind of like was just like, they really have to make him talk like this. I didn't mind the cackle. Uh, it was his weird colored teeth and the hair that was like a little much for me. The hair just is like. Just so... had, just like anime hair almost. <laughs> just pretty just much. Little, like spike out just completely spiked out. Yeah. But honestly, I, for the mo I enjoyed the character and his transformation and he's not he didn't suffer Venom style like in Spider-Man 3 where he shows up and dies because he's still around. Yeah, he's still around. They did yeah. a lot of but, world world thing. You know who's not around? Oh, you gonna spoil it? Of course I'm gonna spoil Even it. Even though everybody knows. They, they told you right from the beginning with the commercials. They told you in the first movie. They told you in the comics 30 years ago, 40 years ago, whatever the hell it was, <laughs> Gwen Stacy is dead. She's, she's done in rings. Stop! Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, that scene too, it's not as like, I guess like as a big deal as like you would expect it to be too in that movie. Like, I don't know why, but maybe it's because... We knew it was coming, but like, it's like, well, they, they, they kind of drop a huge, like, oh, that bitch is gonna die in the oh, one scene in the movie. Totally. Where, when like, she, even if you didn't know, it's like, she's gonna die. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> when she says, I got accepted to Oxford, I'm gonna go with you and move to England, I'll fight crime there. It's like, oh, well, now she's definitely yeah, gonna die. Yeah, she's gonna die. But yeah, a lot of uh, little quick cameos in the movies. Felicia Hardy, aka Black, the future Black Cat. Looking forward to seeing Felicity Jones as a black hat in that suit. That's gonna be cool, but Smythe name dropped. He was Max Dillon's boss. Also, I, and even though I don't like it, it's kind of cool. You got to see, like, you know, Doc Ock's tentacles and the vulture wings, but I don't like how everything is Oscorp, but that's just me. Despite being shown in the trailers, Rhino is only at the very end of the movie and the very beginning. Yeah. Well, the Paul Giamatti is just in the beginning, just as a Russian gangster, gets arrested. And at the end of the movie, he, he's basically given the a rhino. It's like tank a tank, suit. yeah. A <laughs> tank suit. Just decides, I'm going to blow things up because I'm Russian and crazy. Didn't and mind, he was kind of over was, the top, but like, it was, still, it's it was kind cool. of cool. This little adventure continues ending yeah. for Spider Man. This suit's a little like. This is ridiculous, but I guess like any other way, it would be like it's an Iron Man ripoff. So or freaking giant mutated Rhino Man. Who the fuck yeah, we to we see we, that? we don't need any more mutants after the Lizard. He was weird. But yeah, I, I would say this movie's okay. I'd give it a solid seven point five. How about you? I'll give it an eight. Give it an eight. All I'll right. give it an eight because of Electro. He was just that kind of awesome. Now the last thing, uh, the last Amazing Spider-Man movie, it had a mid-credit scene. Uh, there is something during the credits, it has nothing to do with Spider-Man, it is just a little tease for X-Men Deja Future Past, and no, they're not crossing over. Mark Webb was, uh, had a contract with Fox, and they were like, you need to make a movie for us. I, I want to make this movie first. Okay, fine, but you got to promote X-Men. And they were like, all right. And the entire theater just probably was sitting there confused. Yeah. And then they continued waiting, hoping that something <laughs> else would show up after the credits, but... Nope. I would say the other thing in the credits, too, is there's a little tease of the Sinister Six during the credits where you get to see the weapons of each of the members. You get to see Doc Ock's tentacles, Vulture's wings, Craven's spear, Mysterio's mask, Green Goblin's glider, and the Rhino's... Uh, Armor. I think that was six. What's that I miss? Yeah, I think that's it. Unless that's five. <laughs> sinister. <laughs> but yeah, you got to see, I guess, who might be the Sinister Six or just in other Spider Man movies. But yeah, the movie's good. But it probably could annoy people that are very hardcore Spider Man fans just because of how 
very, very different it is from the comics. You could have made that argument with the other movies, too. Why is Doc Ock so nice in the beginning? Yeah, I guess <laughs> Like, why so. does Green Goblin look like a Power Ranger? The, the original, though, Sam Raimi, like, Spider-Man, like, Why does Spider-Man shoot webs from his wrists? Yeah, still, but... Every I, I think those, those movies are a little more truer to the comics than... Except for number three. But, uh, yeah... But anyway, they're still all good. I mean, Spider-Man movies, I, I don't think they're, like, terrible. Some people are saying this movie's, like, dreadful, but it's Someone definitely compare not. compare it to Batman and Robin. I challenge that person, go fucking watch Batman and Robin. Yeah. Dude. Watch that movie with its bat nipples and yeah. ice puns, and you'll be like, you know what? Amazing Spider-Man 2 is freaking awesome. It's a, it's a very fun movie. I mean, if you like Spider-Man, if you hated the fact that Tobey Maguire was never funny, was never making quips... Andrew Garfield makes so many quips and jokes. He become when he's Spider Man, he is Spider Man. Mm, I would say he he's a he's a, definitely a good Spider Man, but he's he's a different Spider Man to me. He's a very confident Spider Man, almost cocky sometimes. But I still enjoyed the movie. But I do have nitpicks with it. You have nitpicks with anything. Yeah, well that's true. But I mean. <laughs> Spider-Man, I've been reading those comics for a long time, and I can't just excuse some things that are just like, kind of like, this is very different, but I would say it's not a bad different, except for the Oscorp thing for me, just because I don't like it that everything moves back to that Richard Parker research, but anyway. I think that creates a more interesting myth arc, but that's just me. Yeah, alright. I mean, everyone's going to have their own opinion, but at the end of the day, it's not. This is not a bad movie. Anyone who no, says it's a bad movie it's is not a, a bad is a movie. Dead. Yeah, so good movie. Definitely go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Just once the credits start rolling, go home. Yeah. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size. Catch the seeds, just like guys, look out! Here comes the Spider-Man! Is he strong? Listen, bud! He's got radioactive blood! Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead! Hey there! There goes the Spider-Man!